shows that a given statement is true, it's quite easy, you need just to make a common denominator on the left hand side and simplify it. Hence, so are the wise solve the next trigonometric equation. We can see that if x is equal to sine of 2 theta, it's absolutely the same, so we can make a common denominator and rewrite it as 2 sine squared of 2 theta minus 5 sine of 2 theta minus 3 over sine of 2 theta minus 1 is 0. We can see that there is a fraction which is equal to 0 and uh, a fraction is equal to 0 when a numerator is equal to 0 but denominator cannot be equal to 0. So 2 sine squared of 2 theta minus 5 sine of 2 theta minus 3 is equal to 0. Let t be sine of 2 theta and hence we get a quadratic equation with respect to sine of 2 theta and hence with respect to t. So it becomes 2 t squared minus 5 t minus 3 is equal to 0. Let's solve with discriminant. Discriminant is b squared 25 minus 4ac4 times 2 times negative 3. So it's 49. Hence t1 is minus b5 minus root d it's 7 over 2a4 and hence it's negative a half. And t2 is minus b plus root d over 2a and it's 3. And since t is sine of 2 theta, hence sine of 2 theta is negative a half or sine of 2 theta is 3. Since uh, range for sine is uh, from negative 1 to 1, uh, sine of 2 theta is 3, there are no solutions. And let's consider sine of 2 theta is negative a half. To solve uh, this trigonometric equation, we use a unit circle. It's a circle of radius 1. Sine value or value over sine, uh, it's uh, y value. Hence, if sine is negative a half, we should consider such points on a unit circle corresponding to y value is negative a half. So we should consider we should consider points A and B angles corresponding to uh, points A and B. And let's draw rays from origin. And the next step is we take the absolute value of this uh, value. So we consider sine of what angle is plus a half. You may apply uh, inverse sine on uh, calculator or for common angles uh, uh, 30, 45, uh, 60. It's, it would be better to know that uh, sine of 30 degrees is uh, a half. So anyway, you should find uh, sine of what angle is uh, a half. Since uh, this value will be always uh, positive, you always will get values uh, from 0 to 90 degrees. So, it's not an answer. It's just a supplementary angle, which is... Uh, between x-axis and the first ray, 30 degrees, it's pi over 6, and also between x-axis and the second ray. So, we find firstly supplementary angles, which are between x-axis and our rays, from uh, considering sine of what angle is uh, the absolute value of uh, this number. Apply an uh, uh, inverse sine or just you should know that sine of 30 degrees is a half. And then we write answers from a unit circle, from a graph. 
we can see that angle corresponding to A is pi over 6 more than pi 180 degrees. Zero angles for angle 0 degrees is here. And in anti-clockwise direction there are positive angles. In clockwise direction there are negative angles. Hence, then we copy angle argument uh, on the sign to theta is it's pi plus pi over 6 but you can make any number full revolutions and you also will be at the same point a and hence it this angle will have you know, the same sign value negative uh, which is negative a half so we, we write uh, plus 360k in uh, degrees or 2 pi k in radians because 2 pi is 360 and then you need just solve for theta theta is pi plus pi over 6 is 7 pi over 6 and over 2 it's 7 pi over 12 plus 2 pi k over 2 is plus pi k it's general uh, solution corresponding to angles at point A and then since we need theta uh, greater than or equal than 0 and less than pi we consider the specific values for k start with 0 if k is 0 we get theta is 7 pi over 12 it's from a given region so it's a solution 7 pi over 12 if k is 1 we can see that it's pi plus 7 pi over 12 which is greater than pi which is not from a given region and if k is uh, 2, 3 and greater uh, you will not get uh, values for theta from a given region so there are no solutions for k uh, 1 or greater also for k is uh, negative 1 or less also you get uh, theta uh, theta is negative uh, and also it's not from a given region so there are no solutions for theta for k is negative 1 or less so there is only one solution uh, for given region and let consider angles corresponding to point B also copy angle to theta and it is equal to we can see that it's pi over 6 but in clockwise direction so it's negative pi over 6 or we can write that it's 2 pi minus pi over 6 it doesn't matter so let it be negative pi over 6 plus again 2 pi k because you can make any number of full revolutions and then just solve for theta it's minus pi over 12 plus pi k and again if k is 0 we can see that theta is negative pi over 12 not from a given region so it's not a solution when k is 1 theta is uh, pi minus pi over 12 which is 11 pi over 12 it's from a given uh, region so it's solution if k is 2 or greater we get theta not from a given region or if k is negative 1 or less also theta is not from a given region so it's the second possible solution it's 11 pi over 12 and hence there are two possible solutions for theta to be greater or equal than zero and less or equal than pi and that's all for this question